Hello and welcome to the Morningstar series, Why Should I Invest With You? I'm Emma Wall and I'm joined today by James Clooney, manager of the Jupiter Absolute Return Fund. Hello, good, James. Good morning, Emma. So Absolute Return Funds, you must be very happy at the moment because everyone is calling the top of the market and this is the time, if they're right, that you should be looking at funds which can short, which indeed yours can. So I suppose we could start with what is your outlook for the market? The way I think about it is if you were to buy a bond or an equity now and hold it for seven, eight, ten years, you're probably going to get a very low return from it. Uh, and you can see that in bond yields. You can see that in the, the cyclically adjusted PEs of shares. So the, the medium to long term outlook is quite dull. Near term, no one has any clue. So we don't know one or two years in advance, it's foggy in front of me. Whereas I can see eight years out there, it looks really quite dull. And that's the way I think of it. So this is probably, for a true investor, a good time to think about shorting or, or, or uninvesting in some kind of way. But in the near term, we don't know. And, and, and I have to balance those two things, the lack of knowledge, but the understanding of the poor long-term returns to try to invest for clients. The last 12 months have been an unusual in that we've had yes. some major political events which you would have thought would have caused market uh, downturn, but it actually have turned uh, both all time highs on both sides of the Atlantic. Mm. What triggers are we looking for that could cause a correction now? I keep on thinking about this issue, and I think part of it is a switch towards a risk consciousness rather than I need to invest. Uh, so a bit of fear, I guess. Uh, another could be just fundamentals come through and people realize that the cash flows that they're buying, uh, that they're, they're paying the wrong price for them. Um, it could be some kind of shock that we've not thought of, but the market does seem very resilient to geopolitical shocks. So I think risk awareness and fundamentals, and, and those could be sudden or they could be gradual as news sort of comes out from companies. Because investor sentiment really does drive market. You mentioned fear then, but mm. that could be enough to, to turn the market. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and again, it fits in with that sort of thesis that on the long term, the outlook for investing is dull from these record highs. But in the near term, we don't know and things can turn quickly. And how much does macro, does geopolitical play into your investment process? Or is it very much individual securities? I try to focus on individual securities and then to look at the risks I've got in the fund and worry about the macro and the top down. I've tried it 20 years ago the other way around. It was exciting work thinking about geopolitics and, and, and risks. But actually, you make mistakes with an alarming frequency. So much uh, uh, better, I find, is to pick the stocks based on fundamentals, based on, on signals, and then worry about what can go wrong. And you can hedge some of the things you're worried about, or you can accept those risks. James, thank you very much. Thank you, Emma. This is Emma Wall for Morningstar. Thank you for watching.